You need to factory reset your Samsung Galaxy S25, but you are getting frustrated because you follow the other videos and it's volume up and power and you push it volume up power and you're expecting it to, you get the Samsung logo and you're expecting it to go to the Android recovery menu and instead it just reboots. So let me tell you, I'm going to answer the two most popular questions that I get and then I'll show you how to do it the right way. All right, before you factory reset your phone, be aware of these two warnings. When you finally get to the Android recovery menu, you go to wipe data factory reset, you're gonna get this warning. Your phone is reset. You'll need to enter your Google account information. You 100% need to enter your Gmail account, your login and password to log back into your phone after your reset. There is no FRP bypass. Every single one of those videos are fake. So you need the original Google Gmail or email account to log back into the phone. The second most common question is right here, next screen. We're going to press power four, OK. And this is the next question I get. Will this wipe all my data? Yes. Just pause and read this on the on the screen right here or read it on your own screen. This cannot be undone. All data on this device will be erased. Every photo, every app, every message, every contact. So uh, if you need to perform a backup, do that. If you've lost your pin pattern or password and that's why you're factory resetting, it's going to be worth your time to just try to remember it. Sit down and write out everything that you can remember. Maybe it'll pop back into your head. All right. With that said, let's get started. All right. To factory reset your phone, you need now your USB-C charger. You just plug it in. The Samsung says that they do it as an extra step for security uh, so that you don't accidentally reset your phone and it's not on every phone and it's not on every model but if obviously you're having problems you need to plug yours in you attach the usb side to any laptop any computer and if you don't have if you have just this one the usb c usb c you can even attach it to your phone and then attach it to a tablet or if your laptop has the usb c port uh, you plug it in there let me plug mine in all right, and now do the button combo. Uh, volume up and power. Vo plugged in, device is off, volume up power. As soon as we see Samsung let go, let go. We'll wait just a few seconds for the Android recovery menu to show right up. And now I'm going to go quickly, but you, you read these messages on your phone. Press power for OK after choosing wipe data factory reset. Confirm right here, wipe all user data, scroll down once, factory data reset, press power four, okay. And it might take a few minutes and here it only took a few seconds to get to the data wipe is complete. Now it is safe to reboot the system. Hey, if this has helped you, please like, please subscribe and please watch this video right here next.